morning, everybody. From Gyeongju. We're actually leaving today. We are. We are. We just bought our bus tickets. And oh yeah, we're at the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading to Suncheon. We had a split decision this morning. We decided like like ten minutes ago where we're going. Yeah, we were gonna go north. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like the further north you go on the eastern coast of Korea, public transportation gets more and more difficult mm -hmm. or sparse. So we're actually going to turn around and go southwest towards the coast. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And this bus ride should be about three hours. And $17 a person though. Still That's pretty good. very early. <laughs> it's going to be great. going to be great. But first, snacks. This one. Looks interesting. Lover. I wonder what lover is. And definitely one of these. Oh, you one free. Nice. get some work done on this bus. Airbnb this time. She likes the bed. <laughs> this, is really this is probably the softest bed I think we had in months. So mostly our reason for getting an Airbnb is this thing. If we want a kitchen to cook our own meals. We haven't cooked our own meals in months. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be nice. But this place is really nice. It's, since it's an actual house, uh, or since it's actually someone's apartment. It's really well stocked and stuff. Mm -hmm. We got a washing machine, a full kitchen, a full bathroom. And a view. <laughs> Not a bad view. So this place was $43 a night. Which honestly isn't that bad. Sometimes it's just nice having like our own space. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're going to go get food. Mm -hmm. Our uh, Airbnb host recommended a really good Burger and bar. Right A next brewery, door. yeah. She says it's really, really good, so we're gonna try it. Yeah. So the first place we tried going to was this brewery. It was closed and they weren't serving food. So we went to our Airbnb host second recommendation, which is this mom and pop burger place. And I'm really glad we ended up here because it's so cute and the people here are so nice. And the burgers look really good, look at that. I decided to get a pineapple burger. I'm one of those crazy people that loves pineapple on burgers and on pizza. She is looking at your face right now. <laughs> Pineapple pizza is the best. Um, I know it's not Korean food, but we haven't had a burger in a really long time, so I think it's okay. Also, these were like $4 each. I like that part. Okay. There's about a quart of cup mayonnaise on here, and I love it. It's so good. And there's pickles, and there's really sweet grilled pineapple. This is 
This is delicious and exactly what I needed after that long bus ride that wouldn't let us eat on there because there was no snack to out. It was a little feisty. So I actually like trying the same dish in a bunch of different countries because every country does it differently. Like Thailand put a sweet sauce on all Western food. And so I just think it's kind of interesting to try the different stuff. My burger has hash browns on it, <laughs> but I didn't feel like getting french fries as well with enough potatoes. Oh, this is huge. Oh yeah. Stop. That's delicious. It's almost 5 p.m. And we both had one egg each this morning for breakfast. I think we're both just getting really, really hungry. And this is a great way to, to solve that problem. <laughs> so we really know nothing at all about Sun Chien. Mm -hmm. Uh, we found this beautiful walking path though. It is really nice. It's right next to our hotel. We got this river back here. That's really cool. And to be honest, the reason why we came here is when you Google Sunchion, you see, you don't even see pictures of the city. Mm -hmm. You just see a bunch of pictures of this beautiful like wetlands national park. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're going tomorrow. Yes. But uh, we have no idea about the city or like what to do here or anything. So on the walk to our hotel from the train station, we actually passed this really big like lion thing that was inside the mountain, like spewing water, ooh, squirting, squirting water. Uh, so we're gonna walk on this path that way. And it's just kind of fun like being able to walk around cities like this kind of gives you a real nice feel of the area and you find like really weird little quirky things. I love it. The Lion of Sunshion. Just kidding, I have no idea what it's called. There's no signs, it's not on Google. Is this a lion in the middle of the park? It looks really cool though, and I like, they did a really good job mm -hmm. because they sort of built the entire thing into the trees. So it really looks like it's coming out of the hill. And it's pretty big. Yeah. Two different scale. Uh There she is, there's Tia. That's pretty cool. See, you always find stuff just walking around. <laughs> yeah. I think there's also a mural across the way over here. Hi. These are pretty cool. There's a lot of public art in uh, Korea. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, me too. Also, probably hands down my favorite thing about Korea and also just Asia in general mm. is that the sun is setting right now and we're hanging out under an overpass and where we're from, that would be just like a horrendous idea. Yeah, you don't do that back home. <laughs> but here it's totally fine. It's great. Yeah, actually, this is like where people exercise. It's just, it's crazy. I love that. Everywhere you go on the top of a mountain, they just have an outdoor gym. It's, <laughs> it's something. We only have about a week left in Korea today. Yeah, it's really sad. This is uh, the start of our northern push after this. Whenever we get to the last week stretch of any country, we both get just a little sad. Mm -hmm. So if this video felt a little solemn, I'm really sorry about that, you guys. Yeah. It was this morning we sat down and kind of just planned the rest of our journey here, and that kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. So we've been kind of just like... Yeah. yeah. But, on a brighter note, we have... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped again. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a postcard. There's a postcard. <laughs> so if you watched our Busan vlog, this is the postcard that we got for finishing the stamp tour. Um, and a ton of you guys commented that you wanted it, so thank you, that was awesome to see. And as always, we put all the comments on that video into like a random comment picker thing on YouTube. 
If your username is Colette1991. Hey, 1991, that's the year I was born. <laughs> so that's extra special then. So if that's your name or your username on YouTube, reach out to us um, on Instagram or send us an email with uh -huh. your full name, your address, and we'll send you this with a personal we'll send you this with a personalized message. And yeah, congrats. Well you guys, thanks for coming with us today and uh, I'm really excited for tomorrow. Let's check out that national park mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, subscribe! That's all you wanted to say? Yeah. That was your whole thing? That was my whole thing. So from on the walk, 